Well, I don't know about you, but I'll be really glad to see the back of 1941. What a year it's been. Our cities have been blitzed. So many have been made homeless, have been injured, and so many have died. So much of Europe is under Hitler's control and our brave lads are fighting in the Western desert. And now a new front have opened with Japan's declaration of war. Our larders are looking less full with cheese and preserves now on the ration. Onions, we have to reserve them with our shopkeepers and oranges have been priority allocated just to young children. I haven't seen an orange for a while. The egg scheme is still a shambles. I'm so pleased I have my own hens. And as for the milk supply, well, I'm a non-priority customer. And that means I have very little milk in my pantry. For the last few months, I've even had to take a tin of evaporated milk as part of my milk allocation because the supply just isn't there. My dear cat is having to go without his saucer full. This new household milk though, that is a godsend and I'm trying to use that in my cooking as much as possible. And of course the last straw has been clothes rationing. But of course it's not all bad news. We sunk the Bismarck this year and our brave sailors have not been defeated on the Atlantic front. They're putting their lives at risk to make sure we won't starve and there is enough food on our table. Invasion has not come as Hitler has turned his attention to Russia instead. Our brave boys in blue giving him a good beating in the Battle of Britain. And this month our American chums have stepped into the fight too. So tomorrow we are going to mark the new year with some family round for tea. My hens aren't laying well at this time of the year and I've very little sugar left what with all the Christmas cooking so I thought I'd give this chocolate cake a go. I heard SPB talk about it on the Kitchen Front wireless program earlier this year. So geez, we need to get up and get on with it.
Well, what a mess I made in the kitchen. But thankfully, whilst that cake was steaming, I managed to clear it all up. I was a bit unsure about this cake. I did think I'd better try a bit at first, so I did have just a little bit to taste. But despite appearances, it really is delicious. And I'm going to cut it into slices and put it on a pretty plate tomorrow for when my guests come and they won't know I've had any of it. Now, the next time I see you will be 1942. It's going to be a busy year again for me. That extra large vegetable patch that I dug out of the lawn, that's going to keep me going with Mrs Roosevelt seeds from America. I've got many more hours volunteering at the British restaurant and of course in the summer and autumn months running that fruit preservation centre is quite a task. I hope the fruit's better next year than it was this year. And of course all that money I'll be saving, not buying those new frocks, I'm going to put that into national savings and do my bit to help the war effort. That reminds me of the winning slogans in the War Weapons Week competition this year. I like to keep them in my mind. Spend less, save more, that's the way to win the war. And of course, I'll lend to defend my right to be free and not have Hitler rule over me. So I shall do some good work, national savings wise. And in the new year, as well as my usual cookery demonstrations, look out for a new series of short films that I'll be making. Utility Jude's War on Waste. But until then, I wish you all a very healthy, happy and victorious new year. Cheers.